Tonight, we have some goodies, a bag of tricks and treats, some horrors and some terrors for the night of Halloween. Hi everybody, it's Dagon here once again, and continuing our Halloween theme, I have some goodies for you tonight. These are kind of all different random things, but I thought I'd share them with you. First up, from the wonderful movie, The Return of the Living Dead, you can see them there, we have the Tar Man Brains. This is a little patch. That's pretty cool. So, next up, we have the Tarman lapel pin. Okay, now this is from Creepy Company. And as if you saw my Vincent Price lapel pin vid, you'll know what this one's about. So, this is what it looks like brains. And here he is in the dark. This one's just outrageous. It's the toxic glow. Brains. Brains. So there we have those two items. The Tar Man from Return of the Living Dead. Check out that movie. That's a great one for Halloween. Okay, so up next from the classic, I don't even have to say. It's the killer Halloween lapel pin. That's from the art on the box. It's really a super nice pin. These are all double backed. It even has the house on it. That creepy company, they really do great work. So there. So we have that one. And then, guess who it is? It's Michael. The night he came home. It's cool because the knife has kind of a gray, so it almost looks real. This is another killer pin. Again, double back super high quality so we have those two guys let's see what we have next okay up next is I thought I'd include this in this video rather than make a separate one this is an FYE exclusive it's the bloody Michael Myers Funko Pop so let's look at the box first there he is all splattered He's been having a bad day, and so his victims. Now there's the iconic, you can see, that's awesome, the iconic image. So let's open him up and take a look at him. The night he came home. Well, here he is. Even his hair is splattered. <laughs> it's really cool. His hand, the knife. Nothing on the back. But there he is. The blood splattered Michael Myers. I thought I'd include this because those pins are so cool. They have a normal version, but I like this one with the blood splatter. He's home, and he's ready to play. So there he is, the blood-splattered Michael Myers. It's an exclusive. It's pretty cool. He's pretty much the same price, so I think he's worth it to get.
So let's move on and see what we have next. So there's the three items from Halloween. The Funko Pop Michael Myers Blood Splattered Edition, the Michael Myers pin, and the classic Halloween pin. Okay, here's a couple funny little lapel pins. They make t-shirts. It's these funny fake books. This one's called Let's Summon Demons. And it has the little kids. And they're doing like a satanic ritual. But it's a lapel pin, but it looks like a little book. So we have that one. Then we have this one. Get to focus. Let's sacrifice Toby. If you look at the little blocks, I don't know if you can see. They say 666. But I love that one. So we have those two little lapel pins. Okay, so no Halloween grab bag would be complete without Mr. Vincent Price. This is another wonderful item from Manny Yak. It's Manny Yak Monsters on Instagram. There's a lot of wonderful things. This is a old time frame with a beautiful cameo of Vincent. It's really stunning. You can zoom in and see. Really great quality. He also makes a brooch of this, but I wanted it in the frame. I'm getting a little collection of little horror paintings. So, so here it is, my Vincent Price cameo painting. It's nice. The background's like a velvet. It's really beautiful. Really love this one a lot. So let's move on. Okay, this last one needs no introduction either. It's a beautiful little lapel pin of one of my favorites. Frankenstein's monster. And here we go. We have the Funko Pop Frankenstein Monster number 112 and the Bride of Frankenstein 113. This was, I think, the first Funko Pop that I bought. And I just love them. And the little bride. Who didn't much care for him, which was always kind of sad. He was just misunderstood. So let's take a look at him. Well, here he is. He's really adorable. And from his lightning bolts to his little jacket and his little shoes. They make another version of this when he's holding a little daisy. And then turn him around. See his little bolts in his neck. He's an awesome little figure. Let's take a look at the bride. Okay, well, here she is, and she's adorable. I love that she has no feet. Let's see her wonderful hair. And her little arms. This is another fabulous one. You see her little arms are bandaged. A little gown. I love her color. It's kind of like a pale blue. I think it's one of their nicer ones. But all the Universal Monster ones are great. So there she is. So let's put them together. Okay, well there they are together. Though it was never meant to be. It would have made a lovely couple, but if you can see, we can recreate the scene. <laughs> so romantic. Well, there they are. 
Okay, I thought I'd finish this video off by showing some of the classic horror films that are great for Halloween. I love horror year-round, but these are some of my all-time favorites. First is Tales from the Crypt. It has Peter Cushing, Ralph Richardson. It's an anthology. Actually, both of these are. Then The Vault of Horror. This is a wonderful double feature. Tales from the Crypt is great. I'd recommend watching this. Let's see what's next. Next is The Wonderful Tales of Terror. It has Vincent Price, Peter Lorre, and Basil Rathbone. It's three Poe stories. Morella and The Black Cat and The Case of M. Valdemar. But uh, Vincent Price is in all three. And it's really a wonderful, wonderful DVD. I love it. It's a Roger Corman production, but I'd recommend this one for Halloween. It's great for families, too. It's a little scary, but nothing really violent. And here's the third. It's Black Sabbath with Boris Karloff. It's actually an Italian film, but uh, there's different versions. This is, I think, the U.S. release, so they restructured the order of the parts in it. All three of these DVDs are kind of multi-part anthology films. But Black Sabbath is really intense. I wouldn't recommend letting your kids see this one. I saw this when I was a kid. Maybe that explains a lot. There's one segment that's, they're all pretty scary and terrifying, but one just haunted me even to this day. So there's a few films that would be fun for Halloween. And of course, The Return of the Living Dead, like I showed you the tar man. So there you have this collection of treats to frighten the ghouls and demons you'll meet. Tell them beware. Tell them to be gone. Mention the name of the one named Dagon.